Hi, everyone. Welcome to Ask Realty Pro. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of creative real estate financing. We'll compare seller financing with lease purchase options and traditional selling. Let's go. First up, seller financing. This is when the seller acts as the bank, allowing the buyer to make payments directly to them. It's a win-win situation, offering flexibility and potential benefits for both parties. Let's explore the pros of seller financing. First, it can lead to a faster sale since there's no bank involved to slow down the process. Second, it offers flexible terms. Sellers and buyers can negotiate terms that work best for them. Third, it opens the market to a larger pool of buyers, including those who may not qualify for traditional financing. Lastly, sellers can often command a higher sales price for the added benefit of financing. Now let's look at the cons. One major risk is the possibility of buyer default, which can lead to foreclosure. Another downside is the long-term commitment, as sellers receive payments over time instead of a lump sum. There's also the complexity of paperwork, requiring thorough documentation to protect both parties. Lastly, depending on the agreement, sellers might still be responsible for property upkeep until the transfer is complete. Now let's talk about lease purchase options. This is a lease agreement combined with an option to purchase the property at the end of the lease term. It's like renting with the possibility of owning. The pros of a lease purchase are quite appealing. First, sellers get immediate cash flow from rental income. Second, it attracts tenants who may become buyers. Third, tenants often take better care of the property with the intention of buying. Lastly, sellers can plan for a potential future sale. But there are cons as well. There's no guarantee the tenant will buy, leading to an uncertain sale. If tenants default, eviction processes can be lengthy. Also, the sale price is fixed at the start, which can be a disadvantage if market prices rise. Lastly, some tenants may not qualify for a mortgage later, complicating the sale. Lastly, traditional selling involves listing your home, finding a buyer, and closing the deal. It's straightforward but comes with its own set of challenges. The pros include a quick lump sum payment, no ongoing responsibilities, and a straightforward process. However, the cons are that it's dependent on market conditions, potentially lengthy sales process, and seller concessions. Whether you choose seller financing, a lease purchase, or traditional selling, each option has its own set of advantages and drawbacks. At Ask Realty Pro, we're here to help you navigate these choices and find the best solution for your needs. Ready to explore your options? Contact us today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tips and tricks on real estate.